All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4321. All right, guys, listen, just let's get right to it. I'm sorry about that longer length video I did with, you know, Biden uh, meeting with uh, his Islamic professor every day for lunch for over a year, and he, he's kept him on as a staffer. I didn't realize what had happened to the audio. I am under, again, equipment attacks. There is a there is an effort to silence me. Um, let me show you something that happened today so you guys know this is real. Uh, we have a Rumble channel. Corey's got a Rumble, Rumble channel, and he had posted a video, and someone wrote, Jonathan from YouTube days, what a find. 100% uh, fire. Oh, how I've missed you. So someone wrote that. Ice Mike, and then Corey wrote, here is Jonathan's YouTube channel link. Watch this. See, truth is 20, deleted. You see that? Okay, now let me explain something to you. What you are looking at is Corey's channel. Corey posted a video. Some guy came and said, oh, wow, Jonathan. That's John looking for Jonathan. Corey posts on Corey's own channel Corey's own comment on Corey's own channel. Hey, here's how you find Jonathan. Deleted. What? Yeah, deleted by Rumble. De so Rumble is deleting Corey's comment, showing people how to find me. Wonder why they took down my almost 200,000 sub channel. I wonder why. You know, I wonder why uh, on a couple hundred million videos, they're trying to shove in a uh, hundred million views. I mean, they're trying to shove them into the trash can. I wonder why. You know, what's fascinating is check this out. You ready? So Mark Dice has the exact same video clip I had in a video. Mark Dice used over 30 seconds. I believe I used 12 seconds. Mark Dice's video is still up and running, but my video got a strike. <laughs> Why? Because I can tie everything to the Bible. Mark Dice doesn't tie everything to the Bible. I'm tying everything to the Bible to show you everything's biblical, all of this. So how come he can use the clip, but I can't? He can use a longer version of the clip, but I get a strike. How come Corey's posting, hey, here's Johnny's channel. It gets deleted by Rumble, and Corey's the one that made the comment on Corey's own channel? What? Pay attention now okay y'all ready it's getting real guys okay now remember everything biden does is because there's a guy behind the scenes that's letting him do it so he's using him as a scapegoat y'all know who that guy is he's got real big ears that's a hint okay and his chef died recently in very mysterious circumstances <laughs> okay here we go ready there it is there's proof we saved it it was deleted, so Corey put it back up, and there it is. He put it back up just to see what would happen. It stayed up for five hours. We haven't gone back and checked it, but after he posted this, they deleted it. How crazy. Okay, now let's get to uh, some very crazy, crazy stuff. I showed you all this. Uh, let, let's go. Let's watch this one more time. We'll watch about four minutes, and then get ready. you got to see what I'm about to show you. So stay with me. I want to set the stage, though. Here we go. I knew about the details of this. I, knew. I didn't know what the hidden imam. I didn't know what the hidden imam. I didn't know what the hidden imam. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters and friends. I hope everyone is fine with the blessings of Almighty Allah. In today's video, video is very shocking. You will be shocked after listening today's video because in today's video i am going to show you a video of joe biden the president of united state of america who is in conference and talking to his audience but during his speech he start talking about imam mahdi what he said about imam mahdi today we will be listening in his video and after that we will be listening the video of dr zakar naik and then we will be watching the video of Dr. Asim Al Hakim. So, before starting today's video, it's a request to you please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So, whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. 
So without any delay, let's start today's video. When I became chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, I'm a, if you come to my home or my library, you'll see a lot of mm. con contemporary theology and comparative theology. And I've just been interested in my whole career. And mm. uh, I realized how little I knew about the details of Islam. I knew, I knew about it, but I didn't it's know the difference words. that existed. I didn't know what the hidden imam, I didn't know what the hidden imam, I didn't know what the hidden imam, I, I mean, I, so I went out and I hired a full professor, a professor of Islamic studies who came to work with me. He thought he was only staying a year. Every Wednesday he had lunch with me and he said, how much more do you need to know? <laughs> But all kidding aside, I really mean it. Some may not be correct. Okay, now let's keep going. So there it is. You heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Um, now let's continue. Watch this. I just want you to take a moment to look at your little uh, cartoon. Toto pulling open the curtain and who's back there and what's above his head. There you go. Just pay attention to the whole, you know, meaning of this cartoon so they're in oz pay no attention to the man behind the curtain has his name on his jacket by the way the number three in the bible the number three alphanumerically in the bible is the angel of the bottomless pit okay the number three okay he's got his biden with his three stripes and here's the guy with the big ears I was talking about. There's his logo, the rising sun. That's the sun rising over the stripes of the American flag. So there's one, two, three red stripes. The sun rising over the west. This, guys, this fits in so perfectly with the word. It's mind-boggling. Everything here is perfect. Okay, the sun rising over the west. So now let me show you another video, what this means. Okay, so I want to show you uh, a symbol from the cult of Sabud. There's a seven-pointed star uh, in its seven concentric circles, actually. And it's got seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Huh. That's interesting. It should have seven. Anyway, so maybe this logo got done incorrectly one moment. Yep, that was just a production error. I want you to see uh I want you to see the Sabud logo. Here it is, Sabud. This is a cult from Indonesia that Barack's mother was in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See seven. The seven lines, seven concentric circles, and that is the uh the logo for the cult of Sabud that Stanley Ann Dunham was in. Barack Obama's mom, and and uh, the the cult of Sabud, among other things, means the rising sun. The rising sun, very important. Okay, now watch. Yeah, I I can see when uh, I think a friend of mine that made this logo, he accidentally picked out an eight pointed circle, but he put the seven pointed star in the middle. The Cult of Sabud, the Rising Sun logo, okay. And during Obama's first run for presidency, this was his logo, uh, the letter O as the Rising Sun over one, two, three stripes, the West, the letter O for Obama, rising, rising, the Rising Sun over the one, two, three stripes of the American flag. Uh, the Statue of Liberty was just put here it, because the Statue of Liberty, we all know, faces east. But the cult of, I mean, um, the Obama logo represents the sun rising over the west. I didn't want anyone to be confused because they saw the Statue of Liberty there. We just put it there for another reason. So then I want you to look at the letter O right here. Just take this letter O for Obama and slide it right over here. So here is the sun beginning to rise, Obama in his first term. Here is Joe Biden's logo for presidency. And we all know who's pulling the strings, don't we? So let me just let your brain take a moment to take in what you're looking at. The Obama logo first term, the sun rising over the stripes of the American flag. So the sun rising from the West. 
over the stripes of the American flag, which is the West. There's the letter O again, but it's fully risen. So it's gone from here to fully risen over the three stripes for the, like the letter E for Joe Biden. Now, don't forget the number three is the angel of the bottomless pit. All of society is turning different before our very eyes. We're watching it. Okay. The, the logo suggests the angel of the bottomless pit rising out of the pit. That's what these logos suggest. That's what they mean. It's not only what they suggest, it's what the Lord has shown me. Now, does anybody believe it's really Joe Biden running things, or do you believe this, this comic strip is absolutely correct? Everybody knows it's correct. And don't forget what he just said. What the hidden imam? I didn't know what the hidden imam. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters and friends. I hope everyone is fine with the blessings of Almighty. Okay. So, you have the cult of Sabud, the rising sun that Obama's mother was in in Indonesia. The cult of Sabud, the rising sun. And then you have the logo of Obama and Biden the rising sun, and now the sun fully risen over one, two, three, representing the angel of the bottomless pit. Watch. Okay, so now y'all know that the Antichrist, when he shows up, he's able to call fire down from heaven in the sight of men. It says it right there in the Bible. He'll call fire from heaven down and do miracles in the sight of men. That's what it says. Um. This is a, something that you can't get to play. Uh, you certainly couldn't get it to play because of codec things. But what I did was I got a hold of it on my phone, on one of my phones. And even though I couldn't get it to play, I just kept pressing it over and over and it started playing. And I grabbed my other phone. And when I grabbed my other phone, I was able to record it. So you're going to see a loop. So this is my phone recording a video that wouldn't play from a recent uh, catastrophe that just happened over in one of these islands. I'm trying not. I'm trying not to say too much. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Ready? Let's see. I want to get it on your screen first and make sure it's zeroed in. Let's see. It's going to be a little tricky, but bear with me. Okay, this is going to be trickier than I thought. Hang on one sec, folks. Here we go. Ready? Let's try it again. There you go. It played once. Let's see if I can get it to go again. Mm. There you go. So, some of y'all may have had the ability to see it when it was viewable. I don't know if you did or not, but there's a lot going on, obviously. Now I want to talk about the guy that's uh, in front, this guy right here. Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit disheveled because I just had such massive computer problems I just literally scrapped an entire laptop and everything with it. I took it out of here, threw it in the house. I brought this back out, and I'm trying to make it happen. So here you go. So again, this right here. Okay, the cult of Sabud is the rising sun. There's the rising sun. There's the sun fully risen. I, you just saw the video. And then here's a really good cartoon that explains everything. 
But now let me watch. Let you watch Dan Bongino. Okay, here you go. Let's watch Dan Bongino. I want you to listen to him very carefully. Ready? So I was waiting a little while as to not be overly harshly critical on what happened in Maui without the facts. I don't want to do what they did to other people in these natural disasters, Trump and others with Puerto Rico and everything, and just crapping all over him without knowing everything. But now that I know stuff, folks, Biden should just leave the presidency tomorrow. Yeah. The Ma what happened in Maui, I got that, and also an update on how they're going to scam this 2024 election or how they're going to try. Big show today. Okay, folks, this is a serious topic, man. I've been, I've been waiting. I've been analyzing all the information, the data that's come in, the reporting trying to weigh it and balance equities here about who's engaging in hysteria and who's telling the real story. And I feel like we've got a good grasp uh, about what happened. The Biden presidency should be over mm. after the unbelievably uncaring, callous, and candidly evil response to the wildfires in Hawaii. Folks, it's it's incredible. Listen, I, I, want get you, uh, I am not faulting. Would you, if y'all would permit me, please listen to the exact words he uses right here because you're going to see those words again but what i'm going to show you is impossible so listen right here listen to the words listen to the words listen candidly evil response to the wildfires in hawaii folks it's it's incredible listen i get it i am not faulting for as much as i really really cannot stand joe biden and i mean a deep deep disdain for this kid sniffing uh woman feeling corrupt, bribe-taking, plagiarizing, sociopathic liar. Jim Crow. I can't blame this Jim. guy for the weather and a hurricane that went through there and spread these wildfires. But you can damn well blame this guy for the response and the just evil reaction to the death of what could be, when this is done, maybe close to or over a 1,000 people, including kids. I mean, it is apocalyptic in certain portions of Maui from what good friends of mine on the ground are telling. People died horrible deaths. And what's rotting oatmeal brains doing? Sunning his nuts on a beach in Delaware. The most pathetic, disgusting human being we have ever seen. And believe me, I waited a few days to come to that analysis on this because I wanted to give this guy a chance just a chance to, for once in his pathetic, bribe-taking life, to do, do the right, right thing. Yeah, man. That ain't gonna he happen. still hasn't been there. Mm -hmm. And it took him days after no comment and all this other bull to finally get his head out of his ass and to say something. Listen to this quick uh, snippet of a report from CBS that there may be hundreds of children who died in this. Just this is just horrible, but you, you got to know what's going on. Take a listen. With more than 1,300 still missing, we heard about fears that many are children. I'm just going to be very direct with people uh, always. When the bodies are smaller, we know it's a child. That's one of the toughest parts of this. President Biden today is speaking about the tragedy for the first time in five days. Really? Pause it. Look at that. Look at what they showed you. I'm going to go back. Speaking about the tragedy for the first time in five days. Really? Most people would not zero in on that. Most people would not zero in on what they just showed you. 1848 in front of the uh, Wisconsin, in front of the Wisconsin state seal. And here's what I've got to show you guys. Here's what you got to wrap your, wrap your head around. Ready? Okay. Don't forget, if it's Biden out front, there's the guy that's behind the curtain that's responsible. Now watch this. Let's go to this folder. I'm going, this is all in these folders for you guys. Okay, I just want to show you something. Just take a look at a few things. This is the White House during this guy's reign right here. Uh, just take a look. Uh, we know what's come out in the mainstream media. Even the mainstream media is has had to deal with the letters he wrote to his girlfriend. When we all know about Joan Rivers, what she said, of course, he's our first gay president. Of course, Michelle's a tranny. We've heard all that. Uh, all you got to do is go look around, do your due diligence. Okay, there's just one simple page. Uh, things are very obvious, but watch this. Ready? I'm going to read something to you. I want you to look at what you're looking at. It's Wisconsin. 
1848 backwards. You see it? By appearances, the front is an official Wisconsin flag with a sailor and a miner flanking a shield. But on the back, it is revealed that the sailor and the miner are actually holding hands. With the upgrade, the ACLU is sending a strong, with the upgrade, the ACLU is sending a strong message that the organization is committed to defending the rights of all Wisconsinites. The state's motto of forward on the flag further plays into the ACLU's commitment of progressing civil, uh, pro, pro, progressive civil liberties. Okay, now, let me go back now. So, you may be saying, well, okay, Johnny, what's that have to do with anything? Uh, let's go back one moment. Let's go back to whatever happened to the video I was working on. One moment. Okay, so they displayed this because that's where the that's where the shill was five days later after the uh fire that burned completely unnaturally, made circles. Uh the governor's house, I believe, right on the shore, with every house burned around it, burned to the ground, just piles of ashes. Uh, apparently the governor's house was A okay. I saw it if that was actually the governor's house. But watch this. Let's see. Always, when the bodies are smaller, we know it's a child. That's one of the toughest parts of this. President Biden today is speaking about the tragedy for the first time in five days. Okay, for the first time in five days, look what they displayed right here. See this displayed with this giant 1848 right there? See it? Okay, well, normally I would just dismiss that as that. Well, that's just the Wisconsin flag or whatever. But it's two front and center, and I heard the Lord tell me, look it up. So you heard Dan Bongino about this guy's cold, heartless reaction five days later, and the guy that's, you know, manipulating him behind the curtain is really the cold, heartless guy that's manipulating everything. But you see right there, watch this. Let me show you what that is in the Bible. 1848 in the Bible. To despise, to treat with contempt, to reduce to nothing. Okay, let me ask you a question. Was a whole neighborhood reduced to nothing? It's a yes or no answer. Was the whole place reduced to nothing? It's yes or no. It's exactly what it was done. Was done. It was reduced to nothing. What about properly cast out as nothing? Uh, to count as nothing, to treat with utter contempt, to set at naught, and to despise utterly. Did you know the people that were living there and the people that had property there, they're not letting islanders go in and give them any help. It has to go through FEMA and you have to go through their checkpoint, all this nonsense. It's complete insanity. There's land grabs. Bezos donated a hundred million dollars right out of the gate. This is a land grab, you guys. Did you see the thing I held up on my phone? Does that look like a natural wildfire? <laughs> it's like, okay. Do you see what this says? Reduced to nothing. Cast out as nothing. Set it not to count as nothing. To treat with utter contempt. To reduce to nothing. To despise or treat with contempt. Well, let me ask you this. Wait a minute. Got a little bit of an issue here. Hang on one sec. If this is really the situation that's going on, which according to all the pundits, it, I mean, not all the pundits, but the people that are willing to say it, Maria Bartiroma, she says everybody knows that Obama's running the White House. Ben Shapiro, all of the Bongino Jason Chavez, all these people are coming out saying everyone knows Obama's running the show. Did you see what was on my phone? Did you see that? Are they treating the people that were there with utter contempt? Yes or no? Okay. The Wisconsin state flag that was there when Biden showed up is to promote also an ideology if you're in the know. If you're in the boys club, you're in their boys club, and they know what's going on, 
why in the world, I mean, why in the world and how in the world would I be able to show you what I just showed you? I just want you to look at this. So what you're looking at when Joe Biden stepped up is this. See it? But what's really going on in the entire world? What's really going on in the entire world is that. Remember he said he had some secret agenda for all those conspiracy-oriented friends on the right? Do you know what that agenda is? Well, you know it's a reptilian thing in Parthenogenesis when they're able to self-fertilize and produce young and transgender and then co-mingle with themselves. But if you had a sheep race, an angelic race, that was lured into this, this system, once you burned up the sheep and you're done with them, well, wouldn't you just build the world in your own image, which is reptilian? Have you noticed anything weird about the largest church in the world is a reptile and the building next to it is a reptile? Can you figure this out now? The beginning of the Bible is about a reptile. Watch out for what the reptile's offering you. <laughs> what about the new variant? In the garden, it's supposed to be about an apple, right? Here, don't touch the apple, right? What about the new folder I just showed you guys? That there's this new variant coming out. And it's called Eris. And she just happens to be holding an apple. And her manifestation is 2X. There's the red. There's the blue. See, 1, 2, 2X. There's your apple. I mean, are you guys getting this? And this is the system? The female serpent system. Get it? Look. The female serpent system. Ready? Let's just... Let me just try and spell it out for you. A, B, C. The system is female, is a serpent system, which is the devil. <laughs> it's like, hello. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Have you got it figured out yet? Is it obvious enough where this is going now? I mean, hello. Uh, uh, why do we have a Burning Man party in the desert? Did you know the coordinates of the Burning Man event in the desert is 119, which is Adam? Adam, 119 in the Bible is Adam. 120 is Adam, and 119 is the root, Adam. Burning Adam, Adam. 119 is the coordinates for the Burning Man. 119 in the other coordinate, it means it's a, a Philistine king. You can't make this stuff up. I'm just kind of, <laughs> I'm like, ah, huh? I have too much supernatural information to deal with. That's the problem right now. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I have too much supernatural data. It all, everything I'm showing you is the Bible. <sighs> I'm going to take a deep breath. So let me ask you another honest question. Do you believe, yes or no, it's a yes or no answer, that the person speaking to you right now was able to show the world that the bombings of the Federal Building, the Twin Towers, and the Pentagon are printed with intent as images on U.S. currency? Do you believe the person speaking right to you right now in 2007, which is, you can go find it on the internet, I, I prophesied, and behold the man of peace, Barack Hussein Obama, shall come forth from the sea, and with words of peace he'll bring chaos and destruction. Yeah? Prophesied the abomination that causes desolation. Prophesied the new U.S. currency bills that would come out. The hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you, and out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. That's a nuke, you guys. 
Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea. That's a tidal wave, you guys. So the guy talking to you prophesied that stuff, and it's on the money now. <laughs> I prophesied Obama would be the man of peace. With words of peace, he will bring chaos and destruction. Are you starting to see the total chaos and destruction lining up all over the world? And some guy that tells people he graduated in the top of his law school. The guy's been a psychotic liar since he's been in politics. I'm just like, I'm, I'm watching the train shoot off the track over the bridge down into a thousand foot gorge right now. That's where this is going right now. Can't you see it? So there's only one goal. There's only one goal to get you and anybody else I can into the lifeboat. That's the goal. Gather any sheep I can find right now and show you you're trapped in a host body. You're an angel. You've been trapped. Cain and Abel were the first kids. Cannibal. You are your own cannibal. Cannibal. And there's a reptilian race that's eating the sheep race inside of you. That's why the Vatican is a serpent and the mouth of the serpent is a sheep because the serpent race is eating the sheep race. The demonic race from the pit, the reptilian race from the pit is eating the angelic race, the sheep race from heaven. Get it? And it's here. What? I mean, I'm freaking out. Just go to the folders. For I mean, look at this. Look at what 1890 means in the Bible. Oh, my God. Okay, let's just calm down, Johnny. Let's click on some pictures. Here's the girl. Alex McNear dated Obama while they were both attending Occidental College. Here's what she wrote. My mind is androgynous. And to a great extent, I hope to make it more so until I can think of terms of people, not women, as opposed to men. But in returning to the body, I see that I have been made a man and physically in life, I choose to accept that contingency, he added. McNear, who dated Obama during this year at Occidental College in Los Angeles later, redacted the salacious paragraphs, which Pulitzer Prize winning historian uh, Gero hunted down and included in his tome rising star. You know what? You know what the word rising is in the Bible? Allah. What star is rising? The star, the angel of the bottomless pit. You know, that upside down star is rising up out of the pit. It's the most obvious thing in the world once you see it. Let's do a couple more pictures so I can just go very methodically. I regard... In regard to homosexuality, I must say that I believe this is a tip to remove oneself from the present of refusal, perhaps, to perpetuate the endless farce of earthly life. You see, I make love to men daily, but in my imagination. Obama, then 21, wrote to Alex McNair. And who is this? I'll let you decide for yourself. I'll let you decide for yourself. I'll let you decide for yourself. Those are some massive shoulders. Do y'all know who Larry Sinclair was? If you don't, go look him up. Larry Sinclair. Back in the day, before he became president, birth certificate, prove it. It says, President or Jihad. Well, according to this right here. And uh, I realized how little I knew about the details I didn't know what the hidden imam was, but maybe his logo gives it away. Maybe the hidden imam, sun rising from the place of its setting over the west, maybe he has a logo that is exactly who he's supposed to be. Maybe Joe's logo is the continuation of the sun rising. Uh, how obvious does it have to be? It's like insane. There it is, sun risen. Now, I want you to hear this. About a shift in the Earth's inner core that sounds like the pod.
Well, this morning we are learning about a shift in the Earth's inner core that sounds like the plot of a Hollywood blockbuster. Scientists say our planet's solid core, which is actually disconnected from the rest of the Earth's layers, may actually have stopped rotating and could even reverse course. This is a new study. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Allah will continue to accept the repentance of one of you until the sun comes out of the west. Until the sun rises from the west, when it rises from the west, is sealed on the hearts of people. That's it. Oh my God, the core of the earth is spinning backwards. And sure enough, the core seems to be about to spin backwards. That day, when people see the sun coming out of the west, and then they remember the words of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then they connect the two together, what happens? Everyone wants to repent to Allah. Everyone now wants to become a believer. Everyone wants to return back to Allah. Everyone wants to seek Allah's forgiveness. But Allah makes it clear, makes it clear from now, Allah is not going to accept the repentance and the belief of anyone at that time. Too late. Too late. Repent to Allah before the sun rises from the west. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Now the scientists are saying that Anyway, hopefully my equipment worked. I'm under I'm under duress for sure. I'm trying to show you everything I can show you. I'm trying to gather what last sheep I can get out of here. Turn back to the Lord. Look up. Turn the world upside down. Go to all my old videos. Go to thecleckfiles.com. Let me show you a video everybody should watch. Here's a video everyone should watch. It has been taken down it had 8 million views let me ask you a question when a video has 8 million views why wasn't it taken down you know it it 50 views it 100 views how did it accumulate 8 million views and then all of a sudden it got taken down what does that make any sense to you so no one noticed it should have been taken down before it accumulated 8 million views <laughs> okay okay all right that just sounds really uh hard to believe here it is the antichrist unveiled right here here it is this video here is an image of akhenaten Inside the image of Akhenaten, you'll see there's an alien. There is a serpent being. I want to clear that word up. I said there is an alien. There is a serpent being. We're the aliens. We got carried away captive into their system. We're heavenly beings. The image of the Queen Nefertiti, when turned upside down, becomes, becomes an image of a dead sheep. This will become significant later in this video. The word Aken Aten means worshippers of the sun. Okay, Aken Aten. The hieroglyph that the, the one of the first things the Lord had me do was drawn a hieroglyph, and it shows a serpent race destroying a sheep race. Hello? Does that sound like the Vatican? Does that sound like these tattoos? Does that sound like... Here, let me show you what it sounds like. It's a serpent race destroying a sheep race. Hey, Johnny, I, Orle, Jonathan, you're long para ti. Oh, thanks, Marcel. He drew a picture for me. What's on the picture that he drew for me? Well, there's a dead sheep on top of my head. And there's a goat on the back of my head. And there's a serpent eating me. Well, what about Alex? Hey, Johnny, I made a picture of you. What are you, a freak? Why is there a dead sheep behind my ear, Alex? Do you know who you're speaking with? Okay, this is solved. Serpent race. Consuming the sheep race inside of you. Cannibal. So you have to admit your sins and turn back to the living God. Because the God of death is taking over the earth right now. And death, doom, and destruction. And a new variant that happens to be called Eris is coming. Which means strife and discord. Do you understand me? I hope all this worked. I love you in Christ. It's here, guys. 
This is the end of the world. And the Islamic Jihad is at the front door. And I'll try and get some more videos out in the next two days. And I'll try and really plug it hard. But I am fighting equipment issues. I'm going to be rotating computers, installing and reinstalling programs, which is what I was doing before this video, just trying to get this to work. And I don't even know if this is going to work. Pray for me. Pray for Johnny. Pray for Johnny. And yeah, okay, guys, thank you so much. Also, thanks for the people that stepped up to help uh, Tim. It would still be a good time to support the ministry on PayPal if you can. If you can't, that's okay. If you can, we took care of a lot of people. Well, when I say a lot of people, several people and some pretty big bills for other people. So anyway, peace and grace. I love you guys. <gasps> it's crazy. All right.